Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Karen and this is Southern Keto 4. And today I'm going to pull y'all along with me for a what I eat in a day video. Uh, today is Wednesday. It is a work day for me. So I am in a uniform for good old pig. Um, so I am getting ready to head into work right now. I am just having some black coffee and I am packing up my to go cup with additional black coffee uh, to take to work. And I'm planning on skipping some breakfast this morning. I'm, I'm just not hungry. I had a lot of um, beef and eggs for dinner last night. So it's kind of carried over and has me feeling very full this morning and still just not hungry. So this is step one and I will meet you back here for lunch. Real quickly, I loved the strawberry keto chow, but there was overhead music playing, so I had to turn off that audio. But definitely excited about the keto chow. Okay, so including my beverages, <laughs> trying to keep track for you guys. Um, all I've had to eat, eat today is my keto chow. Um, right now I'm having a little bridge just because it's... Um, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm getting ready to get off work and head home, but I have another cup of black coffee and I'm double fisting. And the other hand, I have a peach pear LaCroix. Um, and so these are what I will sip on on my drive home. I am amazed, honestly. I had my keto chow three hours ago and I have usually this time of day I get really munchy and I'm desperate for something else to eat and I am shocked because there's not even a little bit of hunger right now um, so I'll take it that's pretty cool um, so and I have no idea what I'm making for dinner tonight so that'll be a surprise for us both. <laughs> but anyway my bridges to get me through coffee LaCroix. See you at dinner. This is Mosey. And she is demanding bacon. And of course she gets it and so does Mosey. Oh. Good girls. Good girls. Alright, so I just got home from work and I'm starting just now to feel a little hungry. I got the stuff to make some um, taco salad bowls for everybody. You know, they, they usually do that with tortilla chips or um, do like burrito style um, with flour tortillas. And I'm just gonna do a taco bowl with um, lettuce and all of the fixins and everything on there, but without any chips or tortilla. Uh, but that's not gonna be for another like hour and a half. So for right now I have some <laughs> cold leftover bacon chips that I made a few days ago that I somehow have managed to hide even from myself in the fridge. Um, so I am given a couple uh, little bites to the pups and then I'm going to have uh, maybe two or three slices worth just to give me a little something to hold me over until dinner time. Hey guys, back for dinner. And this is my taco salad bowl. Um, so basically what I did was I made a little bit of some iceberg lettuce. It's about maybe a half a cup of iceberg lettuce, so not a whole lot. Um, and then about six ounces of ground beef with taco seasoning and uh, Kinder's The Blend seasoning on there. I do use the regular taco seasoning just because I make a whole big batch for the whole family. I'm not worried about a couple of trace carbs from that. Um, and then I put a little bit of um, Cheddar Jack shredded cheese on top and some Daisy Sour Cream in my like 1968 Corelware dish that my parents got as a wedding gift back in August of 68. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, uh, this is dinner and if I have anything else I will be sure to let you know about that as well. Okay. So I just finished my taco bowl. I didn't even check to make sure that there was nothing in my teeth. And I decided after logging everything um, that I was still a little bit shy on my protein. I usually like to stay around the absolute minimum 80 grams. Um, but today with only having the keto chow and one meal, um, my protein was a little low. So I decided to add 
um, some protein sludge, which is a an idea that I got from Tammy over at Keto in the Chaos, something that she's constantly talking about, and it's super awesome. Um, basically, what I did was about a cup of non-fat Greek yogurt, unflavored, unsweetened Greek yogurt. Um, this time I did a half a scoop of vanilla whey protein powder and one pump of vanilla caramel cream skinny syrup from Jordan Skinny Syrup. So I'm going to spin you around so you can see it. And plug on my beautiful baby girl because I love her so. Anyway, uh, yeah. So this is it. And once you mix everything in, it becomes so thick and like custardy and rich. And I mean, it's like... Oh, it's so good. So, so, so good. See? All right. So that is going to be my protein rich dessert. I am also going to add in really quickly somewhere in here, uh, my macros for today, what everything came down to. Um, I did also have one five ounce measured glass of yellowtail Pinot Grigio, which is super low carb. Um, Obviously, booze is one of those things that everybody has to decide for themselves as far as whether or not they're willing to include it or want to include it. I do have wine occasionally, and I'm not going to lose anything over it. So, or I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be picky or feel any kind of way about it. So, I'm going to go and enjoy my protein sludge. Um, if you are interested in how to make that, go check out Tammy at Keto in the Chaos. She has a little um, video on how she makes hers. And it is, I've been making it all this week and it's so, so, so good. So definitely give that a try. All right. So this wraps it up. Uh, like I said, I'm going to include my macros for the day, what everything came to. And that's it. So I hope this gives you some insight as to what a day of eating can be. Uh, and I'm glad that you guys got to see firsthand my initial first impression on Keto Chow. So y'all have a good one and I will see you soon. Love you, mean it. So I know it has been a while since I threw a few before and after photos in here. So I thought I would share some of these photos from my trip to Puerto Rico. Uh, this was when I was at my highest weight, which was 219 pounds. That was the highest that I ever measured. Um, so it's just some pictures from that time um, before I really, and some of them are cut off, I'm sorry, <laughs> but kind of gives you the idea at least. Um, but just, you know, I was, I lacked confidence and I felt so miserable and just sick and tired all the time. And now I just, I feel healthy. I feel full of life. I have confidence that I just, I haven't had in what feels like decades. So, um, we can all, you know, take those steps to jump in and do something better. Thanks again for watching guys. Y'all have a good one. Love you. Mean it.